I'm Jeanette Keen from Jewelry Arts Inc. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make ear wires with a built-in safety catch. Makes your earrings a lot safer to wear. So, Kim has made these lovely earrings. See how they're all hammered. They have a beautiful little granule in the middle. And basically we soldered on an 18 gauge sterling wire on the back, nice and long because we're gonna make a little ear wire and like a little sort of safety catch thing on the bottom. Because, I don't know about you guys, but I don't think anybody should wear ear wires unless they have either a safety catch or you wear those little rubber stoppers on the back because everybody loses those earrings all the time. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use your round nose pliers. I like all the dowels. So what I'm doing, just for example, like here's one that's already done. It's it's just a little, you know, we're just gonna sort of turn it up and mm -hmm. hook it around and we're gonna make it as unobtrusive as we reasonably can, but enough that it'll catch the end of the ear wire. Mm -hmm keep it from just slipping off especially like if you wear a scarf or something yeah in this in the winter it's worse because they because it just sort of you don't feel it and it just pushes them out it's more elegant too than the plastic i mean like the, i don't mind the little it. rubber stoppers if yeah. they're small i mean they're not small. like a big yeah, like not like an eraser bug. back there yeah. <laughs> you know what i mean yeah. that's no good but they make little ones we have them here little just you should always wear some things otherwise i just don't think an ear wire is it's, very secure it's gonna hold it okay yeah so i'm just gonna take this baby and flip him up and then usually i kind of push it over to the side a little bit you see what i mean something to mm -hmm. that general mm -hmm. effect now, you know, whenever you're making an ear wire, the most important thing is that first bend. You're gonna mm -hmm. bend this forward at 45 degrees before mm -hmm. you put the curve in. Okay. That's what ensures that your earring actually hangs straight on your ear instead of doing that weird, you've ever had like earrings like that out. that do that weird tilt? Yeah. It's because yeah. you don't have that bend in. So, there's your thing. I'm going to do, wait, let me do it like this. Is it better? I'm gonna yeah, put my thanks. fingernail in there like so, and I'm gonna bend it forward, like that, mm. 45 degrees. Mm -hmm. Then I take my dowel and curve it around. And you'll see what I mean. Uh, That's what makes it hang straight on your face or on okay. your ear, okay? okay? And usually you can use like the 3 16 or the one quarter dowel for the top. Like some people like bigger loops, some people like smaller ones. Mm -hmm. um, but usually I just pick one of the smaller dowels. You're just gonna put that in there. So then you see, you get a little thing like that. Now we left extra, and mm -hmm. like I, I was saying, we were talking about this before, the biggest mistake when making these is not leaving enough length on there. Like mm -hmm. it's better to have a little extra and trim it off. Because if you do all this and this is not long enough to reach it, there's really no solution. You just cut the bottom part yeah, off all, and- It's all over. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sadly, yes. So I usually take my finger also and just sort of curve that in a little bit so that it doesn't stick out too much. Mm -hmm. Then, press this back. So you see, then I mark, you wanna leave just enough on there so that it can hook through there. You have a Sharpie? Because then I'd probably mark it like, you know, I don't know, maybe right there first and cut it, we'll bend mm -hmm. the end. And you can always trim a little bit of this off, More. but you need to leave enough there that it can catch through catch there. there. Okay? And usually once I cut it, then I just take a little sandpaper and kind of soften that end. You know, yes, you don't want that like, like sharp pretty, end. Yeah, okay. Um, but, you know, honestly, these are really pretty fast and easy to make. One long piece, leave a lot sticking out on the one end, mm -hmm. a little bit sticking out on the other end. Sorry, here, do this, do this side by side. See what I mean? Just looks like that. Mm -hmm. And then you bend it up and it looks like that. So they're simple and I think, you know, you have a better chance of actually keeping your earrings, which, which is, possible. in my opinion, very important. Yes. Okay. So now that we've made the first one, I usually, you know, before I do any cutting or anything, try it on. Now that happens to be 
exactly the right size, which is good. Um, but if there's anything about it that you didn't like, you know, too big, too small, too long, too short, whatever, you would adjust it now mm -hmm. and then you make the other one to match. So Perfect. usually, but after you've made a couple pairs of these, you kind of know what your size is. This is a quarter inch dowel. Okay. Either the three sixteenths or the quarter inch, I find for most, most people is the right, is okay. the right size. <laughs> <laughs> I was just explaining to Kim that if you hit the record button, the filming works better. So what I was explaining fruitlessly is that that's what that 45 degree forward bend is for because you see how the, the earring faces forward and it's not like slanting down, you know, it really just like puts it on display, which is what we want out of an earring. So here's Kim's earrings with their lovely ear wires put on. She just took them and tumbled them for a little bit. It kind of makes them a little more springy and, you know, shines things up. So you see how that looks in the back? You know, this isn't the right choice for every pair of earrings, but having that little safety catch on the back can be you know, really helpful because it's so sad when you lose an earring. It makes me quite pissy, actually. <laughs>